Uh, my name is Pastor Tandi and my surname is Gian. I'm a pastor in Middlebeck. Mm -hmm. And the reason I came here on a one and one is the delay. I have a spirit, spirit of stagnation, especially in the things of marriage and business. Mm -hmm. Yes. How are they affecting you as a minister of God? They were affecting me to, to, to some extent because I speak a way to people and things happen. Yes. But to me, they don't happen. Yeah. yeah, and then people are getting married. People like. Now I'm stagnant and I speak a way people get jobs. Yes. And uh, by the grace of God, you were able to meet the prophet, I mean the man of God, on one on one session. Yo, and I'm so happy. What did he say to you? He, he told me things I didn't expect to hear, but I know it's true. He also saw the things that I saw in a vision. He confirmed them. And then he said to me, I should be careful of the politicians that are coming, are coming next to me because some of them want to destroy what God has given me. And he said, for the kind of anointing that is upon me, God is going to, make, uh, is going to allow that pastor, allow me to soften my heart and, and mar get married to that pastor because he's also called by God and he's a very humble man. But there were things that I'm seeing about him that I wasn't comfortable with, which made me to come here. And the man of God said I should bring him here as well. Yes. And I, I, God has told you things that are happening in your life. And when they're happening, nobody's there's only you and God. How are you feeling? You? <laughs> yeah, I'm so much overwhelmed. This God is so awesome. Yeah. I believe the man of God normally speaks about churches. Did he also touch the issue of your church growth? He did. Amen. He did because the last time I was here, he also told me, why did I run away from God knowing that I'm called? And I ran away from God for years. Yes. My church is only two years. And then also asked me, since he prophesied, I think, three, four months back, mm -hmm. about me only carrying a microphone and things are happening. Yes. It's amazing now. Yes. And to an extent that... Um, my colleagues in ministry from other churches don't understand to say this is a woman how can these things happen and there's nothing added it's only the fear of the lord and praying Yo. <laughs> the, the the anointing you know <laughs> yeah i was in fire i just felt like a small baby i was like a baby I was drunk. even when you were coming back you were still drunk in the spirit i couldn't walk Amen. and this is usually what happens sometimes even on sundays I would minister to the work of the Lord. The next thing I'll be down. Yes. And by the grace of God, as the man of God has told you, the plans of God about your life, what are the words of encouragement that you can give to other women of God out there? Some, they're anointed. They feel like there's no need for me to go to another man of God because I hear God, I eat with God, I do everything with God. But today, you humbled yourself. You came to the man of God and said, even though I can hear God, even though I, I'm anointed, I heal people, I declare things happen, I need a man of God. What can you say to them? Uh, the advice that I can give to the other servants of God is that every deliverer needs deliverance. Because you pray for people, but you need somebody also senior to you that can speak a word. I believe in that. Uh, I mean, if, if you, you, you believe in yourself and uh, you are lost, you are lost. You need to be fathered. You need to have somebody senior. Mm. Because it's a matter of maturity, seniority, protocol, etiquette in the things of God. God is a God of order. Yes, he cannot use us and we, we also don't want to hear. Sometimes we must sit down, go to another church, sit down and listen to what God is saying. Listen. Yes. We, 
Hallelujah. We give glory to Jesus for your life. I believe as our Father loves to say, iron sharpens iron. I believe that today as he prayed for you, he has sharpened the inner woman in you. And I believe that as God was doing signs and wonders through you, he shall continue doing more and you shall surely come back to tell us that you are married. God is making wonders in your life in Jesus' name. I definitely am going to come back with a testimony Amen. that for sure I know. Amen. We give glory to Jesus for your life.